I've been sharing with you in these video devotions, my burden, my heart for revival, and I long to see God send a mighty revival to His people. I want to see an outpouring of His Spirit where people turn to Him and God heals their hurts. You know, one of the consequences of revival is that God says He will heal our land. And there's much hurting. There are sick people spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. We're trained because we need a fresh touch from heaven. And revival brings that. He brings healing to our hearts. But you see, we're, we seem to be powerless. And one of the reasons that we're powerless to have that kind of healing is because often we're prayerless. Prayer always precedes a great revival. One of the great concerns I have is I hear of people saying, you know, I was a pastor and then I had all these problems and I went into this and, and hey, I've got problems too and I've struggle. I mean, I've had, I've tried to be honest with you and share with you some of the deep hurts I've had, but I do know this, Jesus will meet every need that we have. The Bible says in Philippians 4:19, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. So we need, we need to, we need to come to him and prayer becomes that way, that means in which we come into his presence and we bring our needs to him and he meets those needs. So if you're hurting, if you're going through something in your life that's, that's difficult, instead of looking for the quick fix, why don't you go to the Lord and ask the Lord to just search your heart, go deep. And you know, sometimes that can be painful. <laughs> and you know, before cancer can be cut out, there, there's a pain that you have to go through, but it can be painful. But if you'll do that and allow God, just be honest, allow God to do that work in you. Spending that time in prayer, He will do that deep work within you and you will find extraordinary power to become the person that He wants you to become and to do all that He has for you to do. Now, I'm not saying that, that everything's gonna be just perfect and you're not gonna have any problems. I'm just gonna, I'm saying that you will have power to be an overcomer, power to do all that God wants you to do. And, and so you can be victorious. You don't have to be defeated. God wants you to be victorious. So look to Him, find a place, seek His face, and let Him fill you with that power from on high.